Hey, let's start. Let's start uh, 2023 off with a bang, shall we? Let's make a mod. Let's make a mod that's got a lot of particles. So, if you want to make something similar to what I made in that volcano video, well, this will be the video for you. In our vehicles folder, we're going to make a new folder for our mod. If you're new to modding, don't worry. You get all these files to have the same files I have if you want to recreate what I did. Uh, so we need to make a new folder in our vehicles folder. And we'll just call this bang. <laughs> I don't know. That's not a good name. Let's call this let's call this 2023. Be name it Ramad. So we need an info file. We need a blank J-beam, and we need a loose script that um, does particles. So we have that here. You're in luck. You're in luck. In our, our vehicles folder, we have this loose folder. We'll copy it into here. Or move it into there rather. Now this is basically set up to um, this is set up so that it will um, affect particle number, whatever that particle number is, which we're going to change that. So let's go into Blender and let's make a box. You know, the box that comes with Blender will work great, but actually, we're going to make a ball. We're going to make a ball instead. So we'll make a new project. We're going to delete all this mess, and we're going to make a, uh, let's see, add mesh UV sphere. Now, we're going to change this to just the bare minimum needed to get by. Maybe we'll do a few more. I don't know. Let's see. I think I think that'll work right there. All right, we're gonna move it up here. Uh, let's change the name to. Uh, Now over here, this little little green tab here, we'll just put a little letter A. Alright. Now someone asked about wheels in the, one of the other videos. I was talking about the origin being set to the 3D cursor. It's the object's origin set here. Uh, I need to set it to that set origin 3D cursor. And I always apply all transforms. Uh, that way it's set so if you're making a car and the wheels are not where they're supposed to be it could be that the wheels are not set to the 3d cursor and they're being misrepresented to where they're really supposed to be but anyway this is where our ball is going to be and uh, we need to save this blender project so it'll let us export j -beam. so we'll go to the vehicles folder to this 2023 and we'll save our blender file now what we're going to do is go to edit mode and we're going to say mesh J beam nodes connector that's going to basically make this ball solid with reinforcing it with all of these little cross beams so that it's got some support now I would say that's triangulated already but I'll still go up here to face triangulate faces regardless and back to object mode I'll export this uh, DAE if you want to see the thing then you need to export the DAE in order to see it but it, ain't, it doesn't have a texture so let's give it a texture uh, the texture is just going to be called ball I'm not even applying anything to it I guess I could make it red but we'll export the DAE into that same folder it don't even matter what you name the DAE uh, and then we'll export the J-beam into that folder. 
the J-beam of ball. Since the ball is the J-beam, it's also the mesh. Uh, now we can go to the folder. Well, I'll have a J-beam exported folder there because that is where we saved our Blender file. That's where it'll put that folder. We'll load the ball into here and we'll move it over to here. Now we'll go back to um, the blank J-beam and load it in. Oh, and the info file. We'll open it up. In the info file, we need to change the name to 2023. That would be the name of the mod. We can save the info file now. We're done with it. The blank J-beam, I want it over here. Now, this changed also 2023. And the flex body here is ball. Since that is the mesh that is here, that's what where the flex body is going to be. And it's got group assignment of A. So you come down here to node weight, we'll change the node weight to like 1. Collision with the ground, true. Collision with itself, false. Group A. So you come down here to uh, right here. See this follows the nodes here, so it's asking for nodes. So you go over here to the nodes from the exported J-beam, because it exported only nodes, beams, and triangles. Uh, so you ex you take these, copy these, and you paste these right here. Then you go down, you scroll down till you see beams. Oh, that's too much beam spring. So right here, we take these beams and we move them over there, like this. Now we scroll down to here to the triangles, and right here we put these triangles. Now basically this model function, we can save it and we can load our level. But uh, before we do that, let's just pick one random node here, AL0. So let's go back to our particle Lou and where this local is, we're going to put AL0. And then right here, let me close this. Right here where it says if node name equals, put AL0. And then right here, put AL0. And then down here where you see object add particle by nodes, put right here AL0. If you did not do your prefix. Remember when I said in Blender, I said, hey, go to right here, this green thing, and scroll down to prefix and put a little letter a if you forgot to do that then you'll have yours will have ends which that's fine you can use ends but uh, i named mine a al0 the first number of these sets of four numbers the first number is the velocity which i don't understand in the way these work because this didn't really make a difference when i modified that number this number here is the name the number for the particle itself. So if we go to the master particle list and we scroll down to 31, 31 is fireball large. So that's the particle in play. The next number is the area of effect. These this is like in meters. So one meter wide or 10 meters wide. Think of a big area. You can either have the effect you know, AO, you know, area of effect spells and games. Well, that's what it is, the area, the area of the effect. So 10 meters or just one meter. This is how many times it's repeated, the particle. So it's like multiplying that particle 30 times, having 30, 30 copies of it on top of itself. We'll just do five to start with. We'll save this. Now when we load the game, we load that when we reload the game rather when we load that mod we reload we reload that mod uh, well load it for the first time 
we'll see it's got fire coming out of it. Now this is a modified Lou script from the Canon fire, but instead of it only firing one time showing just one puff of smoke, it stays on constantly. Now Tony Cartney, Cartoony, he was the one who helped me understand the Lou script to begin with and how to do this. I have since lost the one he gave me, but I figured it out based on what he told me before I was able to, after a day of experimenting, uh, get it to work again. Because basically I had to look at the Canon Lou and figure out, okay, what had to change to make it stay on all the time. And yeah, I'm not a Lou person, so it's uh, not something that came easy. So, 2023, Spawn New. And, and we immediately have an explosion, but not the kind that we want. The kind that we got was the kind that means instability. Which I do see fire, but that's not what we want. <laughs> that's not the kind of explosion we want. That's the kind that's from poor, poor, uh, poor J-beam work. All right, so the weight is uh, too light for the amount of spring that it has, so I'll just, uh, I'll just reduce that, and that should fix our problem. we we'll control R to reload it, and we still got instability. Well, that's, that's something. Let's just give it some more weight and be done with it. When in doubt, add more weight. So, we have a ball that emits fire. That easy. Now that's only five times particle. Now let me uh, let me let me just show you how this works. So I'm gonna move this over to here so we can do this like in real time, right? So we'll go back to our loose script. And let me make this smaller. All right. So. Let's change that to one, so it's only one times the particle. We'll reset it, and you'll see that's just one. That's just one particle instead of five. See, this is 100 particles instead of five, or instead of one. I have to bring the mightiest 4090 to its knees, I'm afraid. So if you have high hopes for having a thousand fires, then you can get that out of your mind. It's not going to happen. So we'll go back to one. Let's now, now this time let's change the area of effect to 10. And let's reset it. And you'll see what the area of effect at 10 does. Let's change the area of effect to, 50, or to 100. So that's an area of an effect of a 100 radius. Now 100 radius with 100 times the particles. That's pretty cool. And I don't know why I picked red. I hate red because I always think I got the damn wrong texture on something. So off it goes into the yonder, and all of its 100 meter in diameter. And that's that square, by the way, 100 meter square. All right, let's change these to I don't see 0 0.1, and let's just go back to one and reset it. Now you can attach this ball to anything. I made it a I made a version of this where it's just the particle and a node and you don't actually see a mesh. So if you just want to add particle effects to things and not actually have a physical mesh present, you can. In fact, I added a few particles to a rope. But say you can attach this to anything just like any other mod. 
Now let's look at some of these other numbers. Let's look at um, particle number 9, which should be sparks, explosion. Which you probably could see this better at night time. Or dusk or dawn or whatnot. So that's that sparks explosion particle. Um, let's do a few more. Let's tell this to be 100 of those. And see, like I said, the velocity, I cannot tell where that makes any difference at all. If I put something else here and I reset it, I mean, it looks exactly the same. I don't see no change unless it's like inherited velocity. Like I said, I don't know. Maybe you can tell the difference. It does kind of look like it's spraying out more, though. Let's put a, a ridiculous number on here and see the difference, if there's any. Sometimes, I guess it's inherited velocity when the velocity is affected by other factors. Well, apparently that must be what it is. I don't know. Only way we can know is put it at zero. See it kind of spraying out now? But I thought it did that already. Let's see. Let's put it at zero. I don't think this matters. I hope I'm wrong because I, I want it to matter. But I don't think it does. Control R, reload. Where did it go? Here it is. Maybe that is what it does. I don't know. It don't look like it's spraying out as much, does it? It had more oomph to it. You know what I mean? Maybe that is that. Let's put an even crazier number, like 1,000 or 10,000. And reset it. Control R. I can't grab them little balls. Little nodes. Come on now. I don't know. Y'all be the judge. I can't tell. It maybe it looks like it's coming out more. Or spraying out farther. I think it is actually. Alright, let's mess with some others. Well, what else can you do? Well, we can hit control N to see the number of the nodes, the node numbers. So that's AL0. Let's see, let's do AR17. So we'll make a new local. And we'll call this AR17. We'll go ahead and copy that. Well, wait a minute. Actually, let's copy this. To our clipboard and let's go here and let's paste it and put here AR17 then AR17 and then down here we need to add another one of these and what right here will go you guessed it AR17 and right here right again AR17 uh, what particle let's do uh, let's do seven seven is a black smoke we don't want a hundred of those though smokes pretty heavy on the GPU we'll put this to three 
So we'll save this and we'll hit Control R. And now we got smoke coming out of a particle. We got smoke and 